Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you've been watching my videos, you know I love pollinators. I don't spray anything on my plants in order to protect the beneficial insects, and they have done a great job in return to keep bad bugs under control. I've grown lots of different flowers to attract pollinators. Today, I will show you the top 10 pollinator attracting flowers that are blooming in my garden right now in August. The order will be based on how much I like this flower. Now, let's get started. Number 10. Zinnia. Zinnias are one of the easiest flowers to grow and they can add so much color to your garden. I know many people consider them as some of the most pollinator drawing flowers, but in my garden, they don't seem to attract the bees as much as they do butterflies. It's so beautiful to see monarch or swallowtail butterflies dancing among them. Number 9. Straw Flower Straw flowers have the special straw-like texture, almost feel like they're made of plastic. They attract honeybees and leaf color bees. Each plant can drop thousands of seeds, so you will find them pop up in every corner of your garden in the second year. The seeds even flew over the fence and started growing in my neighbor's yard. Number 8. Asters Another flower that's loved by leaf cutter bees. Leaf cutter bees are so interesting to watch as they carry pollen on their abdomen. Asters are a reliable self-seeder. They come in bright pink, purple, and white. The downside is their blooms don't last long. They kind of push out all their blooms at once, then die. Number 7. Russian Sage I think I might subconsciously biased in favor of purple flowers. Russian sage has the cute, furry-looking flowers that bees absolutely love. It's a tough and hardy perennial that likes full sun. I accidentally discovered this year that you can divide the plant by splitting the roots. Number 6. Lobelia This little cute flower comes in white, purple, and different shades of blue. They bloom beautifully even in part shade spots. Their small size makes them a perfect filler plant that you can tuck in anywhere. They attract both honeybees and bumblebees. Bumblebees are more of a picky eater in my opinion. While honeybees seem to enjoy a wide range of flowers, bumblebees have some specific plants they like. Number 5. Cosmos Cosmos comes in so many shapes and colors. Like the other flowers, the more you deadhead them, the more blooms they will produce. I didn't notice a lot of bee activities on them in previous years, but this year, they are having bees and moths on them non-stop. All cosmos in my garden this year are volunteers, but they don't self-seed as much as straw flowers or bachelor's buttons. Number 4. Galadia Can you believe these Galadia plants have been blooming non-stop since last summer, even throughout the winter? They add so much color to my garden all year around, and every visitor was impressed with them. Galadias prefer full sun and grow well even in poor soil. They are loved by all kinds of bees. Number 3. Milkweed Many people grow milkweed to attract monarch butterflies, but they are also very much loved by honeybees. I have a lot of them growing in my garden because they're so good at spreading themselves. They can bloom throughout the summer even if you don't that had them. I like the mixed look of both yellow and red milkweed flowers. Annie's hyssop. Annie's hyssop is a new addition to the garden this year. It's a perennial in the mint family. I love their long stem and puffy blooms. I heard this plant is edible that they can be used as a seasoning or a tea, but I haven't tried it yet. 
It grows really well, even in part sun spots, and has all kinds of bees buzzing around it all the time. Number one, fennel. I've made a full video recently about why I love fennel. I only have a single plant, but it grows huge and attracts a ton of ladybugs and bees. A ton, literally. It's a major host for many butterflies, especially swallowtail. Definitely grow this plant if you want a lot of beneficial insects in your garden, or if you want to observe the life cycle of swallowtail caterpillars. Finches love to eat their seeds. It's a lot of fun seeing the birds jumping between the branches. That's the whole list. It certainly doesn't cover all the bee-attracting flowers in my garden, such as borage, rock purslain, California poppies, etc. These flowers don't have a huge presence in my garden right now, but I will make sure to cover them in future videos. What's your favorite pollinator attracting flower? Comment below to let me know. Thanks for watching.